In this video, we're going to take the melody to one song and turn it into three different solos at three different levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. For those just beginning their banjo picking journey, having simpler solos will allow you to get into the jam session a little quicker. After you've been playing a while, you'll find that you can add more rolls and embellishments that will take your solos to a higher level. So my beginning level solo will be mostly melody notes. I'll put some rolls in where there's what you call a fill, space where there are no melody notes, and maybe put in a couple banjo pinches. Our intermediate level solo will have all the melody notes, but will have rolls going throughout the solo. And lastly, our advanced solo will have the melody, it will have rolls throughout, but will also have embellishments and licks that make it sound like a higher level banjo solo. To demonstrate, we'll take the old standard, she'll be coming around the mountain. Here's the melody. At a basic level, all I'm gonna add are some pinches, where we had the melody. I don't have to hit all four of those, so I'm gonna go. And you can see right there, she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Big long pause there, that's where I put my roll. Here's the tab for a solo being played at a beginning level. I will perform all three solos non-stop after we go over the intermediate and advanced level solos. An intermediate level solo will embed that melody into rolls. And when I say rolls, the standard rolls are the alternating roll, a forward reverse roll, and just a forward roll. For those needing to dig a little deeper into rolls, I have this video, Understanding Banjo Rolls, so maybe check that out. So here's the first part of coming around the mountain put into rolls. Once you put your melody into rolls, you mostly will have eight notes per measure. Every now and then you want a melody note to stand out so you can make it a quarter note instead of an eighth note. And I did that where it went mountain and she. It was easier than trying to fit those notes into a roll. Another concept is to realize when you have four melody notes in one measure, coming round the, it would sound very stilted to keep playing that note. Coming round the, so when we turn it into a forward roll, you'll notice I put one of the lyrics in parentheses, and that's because we're getting three out of the four melody notes, which is enough to create the sound of the song. Another concept that comes into play when you're putting your melody into rolls is sometimes you'll extend the roll beyond just a single measure. That happens when the melody comes to a rest. Mountain when she comes. So I kept the T-I-M, T-I-M going, and when it was time to get the melody, came back in. When you hear all your favorite banjo players solo over a melody that can be sung, you often are going to hear them put in hammer-ons, slides, and pull-offs. These are called embellishments. And they can convey the melody. Two to five slides shall be coming round. That five is the same pitch as the open third string. So we're embellishing our solo, but we're still keeping the melody in there. The next place that we typically fancy up is when the melody comes to a break. Instead of just playing a roll, we'll put a lick in there. This is Earl Scruggs' famous tag lick. So I'll put that where to think of these embellishments is as if the singer is singing with a little bit of a drawl there 
like when it goes to the C chord and you add this hammer on. One last concept I'll leave you with before I perform all three solos back to back is that the pitch of the open third string, as we previously stated, could be equivalent of the fifth fret on the fourth string. Same is true with the open second string, can be the pitch of the fourth fret on the third string. So when it gets to coming round the I now will perform all three solos back to back non-stop for you. Notice when we go from the beginner to the intermediate to the advanced, there will be an increased level of energy and excitement going on in each one. For that reason, if you are a beginner or more on the low intermediate side, be careful not to just try to go after the advanced one first. Try to find easier ways to play your solos so that you can get it up to speed, play it smoothly and then work your way up to more advanced ones. If you'd like copies of the tabs to these three solos, just see the video description for information on how to get it.